Hey everybody, we're back. My next guest tonight can be seen on Saturday Night Live right here on NBC. Here's what she looks like at work. Do you want to audition or, or, or what? Yeah. You do? Some, sometimes when I get nervous, yes. I stick my hands under my arms and then I smell my fingers like that. <laughs> that's gross. Well, that's gross. Well, that's very interesting, that's Mary Catherine. Yes. Yes. Does it smell yes. so bad? Yes. Okay. And uh, that's very interesting, yes. Please welcome Molly Shannon. Molly. Hello, Conan. This is not good Catholic girl attire. I know. I have You're a big brawn. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Yeah? Are you good? I, I, I like the clip that you just showed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like your work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's funny because uh, you, you got to guess that you actually did go through, I mean, with a name like yours and the comedy that you do, you really did go to Catholic school, I'm sure. Yeah, I really did. I went for eight years. Uh, did, did you go to Catholic school? You make it sound like prison. I did eight years in Catholic yeah. school. Yeah. Well, I tried to hijack a car and they caught me. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I, what I did is I went to the instruction. I went to a regular just public high school and then I got sent. I had to do one day a week, you know, mm -hmm. where I went in and the nuns uh, <laughs> threw stuff at me. And, you know, it was, uh, that's what I did. Just so one day a week. Those nuns can be pretty abusive. Well, some, 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 I mean, some nuns give the rest a bad reputation. Right. Yeah, because nuns have TVs. <laughs> we had this one... Um, we so, good for you, nuns. Go on. <laughs> we had, uh, I had a nun in first grade named Sister Rosemary who used to... Um, she used to take the um, hall pass and um, she would say, Do you want to smell it? Meaning, do you want to be hit? And um, she, le she was the last nun that I had. She left school and had like a breakdown and she was later seen on a golf course wearing a mini skirt and she just left the whole... <laughs> well, what? She was very sassy. She went from being a, a strict nun to being a woman who hung out on golf courses wearing a mini I skirt? I guess so. That was, a, that, was, that was the word going around town. Okay. Yeah. When I, were you from a very religious home? Was it uh, um, were you serious yeah, Catholics here? Yeah, very Irish Catholic. Mm -hmm. And um, my sister and I would... My sister Mary and I would wake up really early um, Sunday morning and watch Mass for shut-ins. And then... Uh, <laughs> which came on right before Davy and Goliath. <laughs> I this remember David and Goliath. Show. Yeah, yeah this, is great all, show. this is all good stuff. All and, right, so, uh, so you, you draw on that then for your comedy. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, one of the reasons I wrote Mary Catherine was because I would just, I actually did get nervous performing, and I just thought maybe I should just write a character who's really nervous, because like I, I, mm -hmm. I just thought, why not just be, be nervous? And, um, and it's, it's a little bit based on people from my neighborhood and also me a little bit, just you know, just not feeling quite right. You, before you got signed out live, we all know you're working there, but before that, you had some odd jobs. You, you did some strange work before, mm -hmm. before you got this job. Yeah, I did. Um, in high school, I worked for um, Eastern Onion Singing Telegrams. And I got it when I was about 15, and I used to have to wear a big tuxedo and go into, like, Chi Chi's restaurant. And if it was somebody's birthday, I had to, you know, yell through the restaurant, you know, asking whose birthday it was. And I had a little monkey with symbols. And... It was really, <laughs> Back really up. hard. I what do you balloons. mean you had a little monkey with symbols? Well, there were like an actual monkey, little monkey or a little monkey that you had to put on your shoulder, like you know, as you walk in saying, you know, um, I have an Eastern Onion singing telegram for Conan O'Brien, and then you'd hit the monkey, and the monkey would go, and, <laughs> and then I had to do a comedy routine, and, and I was terrible. Well, I who was wants bad. this on their birthday? This sounds completely so, horrific. Yeah. I would run away if I was, it was my birthday and I was trying to enjoy a meal and someone came in shouting with a robot <laughs> monkey on their shoulder. Yeah. I'd be more afraid than amused or anything else. Yeah, it was. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I think that the kind of people, I don't know what kind of people like that. It, it was like a lot of like, you know, just people, office people or people just wanted a spark in their day. Okay. But I used to pray that I wouldn't see friends that I knew in the restaurants because I, I didn't want anybody to... It was just, I wasn't very, I was bad at it. I was a bad <laughs> joke teller. And, uh -huh. and my dad would wait in the car outside because he was, he was, uh, he would drive me to the, to the telegrams because I didn't know how to drive. Mm -hmm. So uh, he would wait for me. That's kind of rough. Yeah. You also worked at a video dating service, is that right? Mm -hmm. What did you do there? Did you I actually... used to, I was a recep receptionist and um, I did this in California and I would um, have to, people would come in and they would pick um, dates that they wanted from the videotapes and then they'd come back like a week later and find out 
um, if the girls that they'd asked out would uh, would agree to go on a date with them. Oh, okay. And I would have to type it on the computer and say, you know, I'm sorry, but number 271 has turned you down for... And it, if they wanted to know the reason, which a lot of times they did, I would say reason number 10, which is weight or baldness or... You're kidding. They what? gave specific reasons. People who are that masochistic, they want to... I mean, if a girl said to me, no, I'm not interested, I wouldn't then go, why? I want to know. Well, it's because you're number seven, a freak, you know? I just... I wouldn't want to know that. I would just... I would just back away. Right. Yeah, I, I they, you know, they were masochistic. They yeah. were... Because sometimes they would get... You know, they would make ten requests and they'd be turned down by all of them and they would just go, give me the... Give me the number. What number is it? I might be turned on again. And um, I, <laughs> oh, I used to, yeah, what a hell of a place to work. It was terrible. You're constantly hurting people's feelings and disappointing them. Right. Mm. And I used to take it very, per I, I really had a hard time with it. And I would go in the bathroom and cry because I just felt bad. Yeah. It was sad. Yeah. It was sad. <laughs> <laughs> it was very sad. All right. Stop saying that. <laughs> You're bringing everybody down okay. saying it was funny. It was funny. Oh, it was yeah. very funny. All right. Your family, nobody in show business? Well, my dad... Anybody in show business? Um, my dad is not in show business, but he's like a big... Um, he likes to give me advice and stuff. But he, he's like, he should have been an actor, but he never really went into it. But he's always very, you know, like, giving me advice on the phone. Like, uh, you know, listen, kid, you gotta... If I'm having a tough time, he's like... It, like auditioning in Los Angeles or whatever. He's like, you gotta go in there. You dial yourself up, put on some lipstick do up your hair and you march in there put on your high heels and you say hold the phone hold the phone i got talent <laughs> listen listen kid show business is tough and he's like see i uh -huh. just i just read audrey hepburn's biography <laughs> see did you know she was bulimic <laughs> You know, he's just like a biographies and showbiz and very, but really, very, yeah, but very theatrical and, very, and so incredibly supportive. <laughs> but, uh, you Maybe know. Maybe it actually works to run in there and say, hold the phone, I got talent. <laughs> Maybe that actually works. Maybe, Maybe that's how you can get jobs. Do you think so? Uh, I don't know. I'm just, you know. I have on my heels and my lipstick today. All right. I just got to put Do what your dad yeah. said. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Star Night Live. Uh, the next live show, March 16th, and that's with John Goodman and Everclear. That sounds like a good show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I think so. All right, well, thanks a lot for coming. Oh, really course, nice to have you here. Molly Shannon, best of luck. Harry Shearer coming right up. We'll be right back. Folks, guess what? Coming up tomorrow night on this program, Tom Brokaw is going to be with us from the new movie Down Periscope. Rob Schneider will be here and comedian Jeff Stilson. So check out that show. That sounds like a good one. All right, folks, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Harry Shearer. See you in a second. <laughs>